I'm currently running uh, Yosemite 10.10.5. So the first one you want to do is that I look at the volume. So this volume is 550 gig, and I've used um, 315 already here. I'm going to install it onto an external hard drive to make sure everything works using the disk utility to restore it back in here. So this one has never been formatted or redone. Okay, so regional from HP. So I got so many apps installed in here. Try to get all the apps from this laptop to the external USB hard drive El Capitan. I'm going to prepare my external hard drive. It's 500 gig. I'm going to have partition. I make two partition. Option. QUID partition table. This one and this one. So this one I'm going to do. L. Got the time. X11. And this one. Okay, so ready. I backed up the whole Yosemite to another hard drive. In case later I need to go back, so I need to just restore it. So this one right here is the external uh, USB hard drive backup of the whole Yosemite. So X360. Ten, ten, five. Okay. So I use Super Duper to do it because this hard drive is bigger than my external hard drive, even though the U space is only 226, 326. But if when you restore to a smaller um, hard drive, uh, this utility won't let you. Okay, restart the computer and we hit, need to hit F9. So we're going to boot from the UEFI SanDisk Cruiser Blade. That is the external USB flash. And this one, we're going to boot Mac from USB OS base. Boot without cache. Okay. Alright, let's do that. Okay, so now we're going to click continue, agree, now X360, we're going to install it there. Alright, let's start. So Mac isn't connected to the internet, so continue. Alright, transfer from a Mac. Now it looks like it sees the uh, Yosemite, so we select that. So I want to make sure they got all the information from my Yosemite, so I have to redo it all over again. Application, document, edit. Uh, application so we don't need the music right now and the movies no picture either all right everything else I want continue so it transferring is over now remember this is the external USB hard drive 
that I'm installing. Okay, so transferring documents for user branding. Uh, transferring all the data that I have is about 300 gig in Yosemite. It's going to take one hour and 54 minutes remaining at 30 meg per second. So when this one is done, after I get all El Capitan working, I'm going to restore it into Yosemite. Okay, so now I'm booting uh, X360 that I backed up before. Store the El Capitan from the external hard drive that I know was working to my Yosemite. So this one is the working one. So this one has, look at this, they use 228 gig. That means they, they transfer all of the apps everything so it's almost the same as the uh, Yosemite 10.10.5 but it's El Capitan. I backed up Yosemite 10.10.5 to here which has 324 gig just in case later because it got data in it not just apps and data so in case later if I don't like the El Capitan, I can just take this one and restore it back in here and I have my old Yosemite back. And this is my new Clover bootable for the El Capitan, which I have to change into the EFI folder when I restore the El Capitan already. So now the task here is to restore the new working El Capitan to internal hard drive. This is the original one terabyte from HP. I did not format it. I did not do anything. Everything's original. All I did, I shrank 500 gig from the window to install Yosemite. So I restore this one to Yosemite. Okay. So restore. So it's going to take four hours. So now it's done. So we have El Capitan X11 here. This is internal. So now we're going to boot from there. Okay, this is our first boot into the internal hard drive, El Capitan X11. So normally the first thing we want to do is to repair permission. El Capitan now, I don't see the repair permission option anymore. So I want to use Kex Utility to do it. So let's do this. Okay, while Kex Utility is doing his job, I've installed a new EFI folder, Clover config, to access the uh, EFI.
since we already have everything in there already, it's not going to install over it. 